Hello YouTube and listeners of the Bleep Up podcast. This is the second Bleeped Up review. Sorry it's taken such a long time guys, but I've been uh, doing too many videos. This is uh, a review of Blitz the League 2 for the PS3. Sorry it's taken so long. Okay, Blitz the League 2, a game with corrupt people, brutal injuries, naughty cheerleaders, and trust me, star players that are, well, let's just say they're different, and they parody real life people. Before we get into all the uh, information about the game, let's get down to the details. The game Blitz the League 2 was developed by Midway, who developed Blitz the League 1 back in the day. But unfortunately, as most people know, Midway... Yeah, they uh, are no more. But they'll always leave us with great memories like Rampage, one of my favourite games of all time, and Mortal Kombat. But anyway, we're here to talk about Blitz the League 2. Anyway, it was released in 2008 for the Xbox and the PlayStation 3. And as you know, Madden's its biggest rival. It's been around for years, Madden, and Blitz the League was a rival uh, challenger to it. But as most of you might not know, EA Sports bought the... Blitz license due to midway going bust and they're bringing out a new game called NFL Blitz. But anyway, we're talking about Blitz League 2. So Blitz League 2 throws out the realism of Madden and just brings in the fun. What do we like in video games if we're boys? Well, let's think. American football, you want cheerleaders. Saucy cheerleaders. Look at them, hardly wearing anything, unfortunately. Or fortunately. <laughs> we also, uh, in games, want brutal injuries. Now, Blitz the League 2 do this button mashing system where you do a late hit and you can target a certain part of the body. For example, I targeted the hand there and he has fractured fingers. And when you get injured, sometimes it could be nerve damage, it could even be a broken rib or a dislocated shoulder, etc. Uh, you have a mini game to perform, uh, and then you'll be back in a certain amount of time, like seen here. Now I'm going to give you fair warning, guys. If you're a bit squeamish, don't look, but this is the only game you'll ever see this injury. Ruptured Scrotum. Ugh, that looks pretty brutal. It's the only game that has that injury. Phenomenal, I say. Also, you have this whole late hitting system. So if you do a late hit, you can go down and perform a beat down on a person. So you can get up in their grill, punch them, take their helmet off even, and beat them with it. Or, if you really want to embarrass them, kick them in the nads, or balls, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, and the touchdown celebrations are pretty cool as well. You have a button combination and you type in different combinations to get um, hilarious touchdown celebrations. There's a helmet fling for you. And this is one of my personal favourites, the pylon darts. Okay, and now with Blitz the League, each team has a team captain, like a star player, which parodies real life players. We're playing the Cincinnati Crusaders this week. Hallelujah. Their best player by far is free safety Ezekiel Freeman. Ezekiel could be playing Division I ball, but he claims God told him to be a Crusader. Come Sunday morning, he's reveling in the good book. Sunday afternoon, he raises hell. The 
Washington Red Hawks have one of the most explosive offenses in the league. Quarterback Clayton Westcott was the league MVP in rookie season. Now he's recording his own rap album. He is still a damn good quarterback. But the fame's gone straight to his head. The former face of the league is now a giant douchebag. In other words, he fits right in with the rest of the Red Hawks. But anyway, let's talk about the bonus modes. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of cool modes that this comes with instead of having, you know, the normal games you can play. My personal favourite is coming up in a second. Um, here it comes. I love pain. Dirty hits, unleashed hits and injuries all add points to your score. So the more times you hit people, the more points you get. And it's just really fun. What more can you say? It's it's a game that doesn't take itself seriously and just throws in the brutality of what American sports should be. And let's finally talk about the campaign. Basically, you're a player called Franchise who is the first player in the league to play both sides of the football, offense and defense, and you go through a press conference to discuss and tell what position you'll be. You'll also pick your name, the where you're from, and the team name logos and do all the color coding and stuff and also pick the uniforms like change it up and all that jazz and then you get started really you, your team get starts in division three you become a star girls want you literally and you just get into some trouble with some teammates about some drugs and the commissioner doesn't like you so he throws the rule book at you and unfortunately for some it doesn't end pretty Anyway, you end up going to prison, and to get out early, you have to play football. Quite ironic in a football game. And then you come back, you challenge your teammates who drugged you, and you both make make friends. And then you challenge to become uh, league winners, and also to just defeat a corrupt commissioner. But anyway, Blitz League 2, what can I tell you about it? It's an arcade uh, football game. It plays really fast. Uh, it's got brutal injuries in it, guys and hilarious touchdown stuff guys so it's a really good game to pick up overall I give it a score of 8 and trust me the graphics might not be brilliant but the gameplay and injuries are definitely worth it okay and this was a bleeped up review of Blitz League 2 thank you for listening guys sorry it took so long um, but obviously if you've been viewing my channel I've been doing loads of other content watch out for my next review which will be Robocop vs Terminator and also uh, have a listen to uh, the NARC review if you want. <laughs>